Hello Leo. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitje here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. And I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you are connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they are feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. And please note that in this reading, I am only channeling through my higher self, because I can do that. I'm not channeling through any spirit, positive or negative. There are no orbs here, present, positive or negative. I will be channeling only Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel at the end of this reading to provide some advice to you. All right. So some of you might have been in a relationship with this individual. Could be in the past, could be present still. Just one second, my cards fell down. Okay. <clears throat> Some of you might actually be in a situationship as well. Or maybe you've just... Hmm. Uh, for others of you, what I'm seeing here, the type of cards that are coming out, you literally could be gazing at each other across the table. Oh my God. <laughs> that is very awkward sometimes. Oh boy, oh boy. the gazes so yikes oh my goodness okay people Leo you have a third party situation congratulations oh my god <laughs> oh my god it's complicated it's pretty crappy because you're not getting the time, energy, and effort that is required or deserved in your life. You have here surrender followed by selfhood. Then you have fear, laughter, hearth and home, play. Then you have mystery followed by love. And under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme you have shape-shifting. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Leo, you might not know this, but I have surrendered myself to you, my mind, my heart, and my body. So many things have happened and I do feel that in this relationship I belong to you and you belong to me. I know what happened between us has made things very uncomfortable, very awkward. And I see you now as a stranger. What I did to you changed you. And I can see that because you are no longer the same person that I used to know. You now look different. You dress different. There's so many things about you. It's as if I don't recognize you anymore. It's as if I never knew you. But did you change on your own? No. I know that I am the one who's responsible. Now you look as though you are just thriving. You are independent, self-reliant, self-sufficient. You don't need anybody. You're defensive. You're guarded. Who is this person now I see? Before I had uncovered 
and discovered who you were. Unravel the mysteries that were wrapped around you, so sultry. But now your guards are up. The mystery is back because you are no longer that same person. I feel intimidated by you and I don't know how to approach you. I did it once, but I don't know how to do it again because now you are no longer the same person that I knew back then. You have changed. And you've changed because I am the one who made you change. And for this reason, I am now paranoid. I'm nervous, I'm paranoid, I'm scared. I am scared. I fear that I'm going to completely lose you. I'm also afraid that somebody's going to find out. I'm paranoid. There is anxiety. I have a lack of self-esteem, a lack of confidence now. I don't feel confident anymore in front of you because you are intimidating. I do feel that in this connection, things became very hot and heavy very fast. And with this feeling that I have for you, I have the sense of forever friendship. I want that friendship with you. I want to keep that always. You're my best friend in the whole world. You know everything about my heart. We opened up. I've opened up a few times. I know I'm closed off most of the time. But I know that there's certain things that you can feel and sense right inside of my heart. In you I have found a home. You are my hearth. You are my home. You are the love of my life. And I threw it all away. I now admire you from a distance. I live in my sorrow. And I regret what I've said. I regret what I did. In you, I have found somebody who's a friend. Vibrant, youthful, beautiful. My life was boring before. And when you came along, everything turned from black and white to color. I question the universe now. Why is it that you are in my life? Why now? Why not before? Why not far into the future? I question the universe because I don't know. I feel a familiar feeling with you as if I've known you from before somewhere. There are so many things that have happened between us that I feel maybe we do have what they call a spiritual connection. Have I known you from a past life? I have, for some strange reason, so much love for you, and I don't know where this love comes from. Overall, this unconditional love has me constantly thinking about you, even when I am with somebody else, even when I am doing something else. My head is always turned. And I'm always yearning and longing to hear your sweet voice or to see your sweet face. I'm always missing you. Okay. I had an overwhelming urge and it happened. I cried. I cried at the point where we had the card laughter. It was overwhelming. Um, Leo, this person truly, truly 
cherished the friendship that you had. And they are heartbroken more that the friendship that they had with you is no longer the same. It's not something I've experienced before in this type of reading. Sometimes I do get emotional in these readings, but I just could not help it. Um, I mean, my nose got stuffed because of it too. So this is pretty crazy. I don't know what's going on here. This person would rather have you as a friend than not have you at all. But you see, that's how much he loves you. He, or maybe she, doesn't have to be he. Um, typically, like 70% of the people that I have are about women, but there are the men out there. Yes, Asnoichi also has some men out there. Um, but this is a situation. This could be for masculine or feminine energy. It doesn't matter. But this actually is, Leo, a spiritual connection. Yes, it is. You do get the mystery card. This is a past life card. So this does mean that your connection here is either with somebody who is a twin flame. This could be a karmic partner. This could be a soulmate. Um, most of the, the ones that are very strong I've seen are those ones. There are a few other connections out there too that are spiritual in nature. But these are the most common ones and they're very, very strong. Um, this is for some of you who have been, maybe, and are still are in a third party kind of situation. This person really wants to be um, with you, but there's such inconvenient timing that is causing a problem. For a small portion of you, you may be with another partner and this person came into your life and now you are wondering what should you do because this person makes you feel alive again, youthful again. They distract you from all the world, all the issues that have occurred. They distract you. They give you, it's a good distraction. What I'm seeing here is this person is missing you. They want you. And they want you to basically be in their life as a confidant, as a friend who will always be there, where there is that unconditional love between the both of you. It's a very strong reading. Oh, I typically don't get emotional, but that card got me thinking. This person really values the friendship. They're afraid. There's fear and there's laughter. Fear and then friendship. They're afraid of the friendship. They're afraid that they're going to lose you. And some of you might have already moved on. Some of you might have just thought, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this person anymore. And that's okay. So we have here, let's have a look, the beginner's tarot deck. So any type of obstacle or issues that may occur, or may have occurred, um, that may have caused the problem in the first place in this connection. So we have here awakening, followed by three of arrows. Let's have a look. These I will be um, reading in the reverse. Okay. So when things started off, Leo, there may have been a sense of success. There was an emotional awakening, a feeling of expansive life-affirming energy that brings opportunities and optimism. There must have been some love and sexuality in this connection in the beginning. There was a sense of creativity and wanting to have family, children, adoption, whatever. It does talk about relationships with children as well. Some of you may have wanted to have your families join. Some of you may have had kids from one side and then both of you get together and you have this huge household now with a bunch of kids. Um, but relationships and other people um, have been an integral part in this connection. Something has happened here. Now, the reverse here is what is happening. This is the reason why things started to go downhill. There is an unwillingness to accept affection. 
affection that was being given to this person at some point in time, they stopped it and they blocked it and they were not accepting or receiving the affection that was being given to them. They were creatively blocking it. Why? Because they had a problem with children. They had a problem with family. They had a problem with the community, with society, the way people were thinking. They were creatively blocked and they were blocking by using external and internal forces, refusing to grow. So this is a problem, creatively blocked by internal or external forces. Now that means people, that means circumstances, they were blocking things. It just comes right down to that. They were blocking things. We have here the three of arrows as well. Let's have a look. The Three of Arrows does talk about a sharp pain in the heart, disappointments, the end of a love relationship and having the feeling of separation, feeling sorrow. The sorrow could have been enlightening or debilitating. Time for healing is needed. That is what is mentioned here in this card. Um, a need to transform the grief that this person has into understanding. What this person is still doing, though, they're still overindulging in grief for the sake of drama. They feel that they need to have a slow easing of this sorrow. So whatever's happened in this connection, they're not able to believe what has happened. And therefore, they are still living in that mindset. They are still in that mindset. They're not moving on from it. They can, but they refuse to do so. <clears throat> so let's have a look at the beginner's tarot deck These are any actions, any intentions, any plans that this person may have towards you currently. Then we have here the hanged man. Followed by the wheel of fortune. Ooh. Yikes. Then we have the Three of Swords. Same. Remember, you just had Three of Arrows. Okay. There is genuine, genuine pain in the heart here. Hence, probably why I started to cry. We have here Leo. You have the Star card. This person feels that fate and destiny in the universe is calling you both together to be together again. Um, there is this understanding that's just like inherent. It's just by default, this understanding that, yeah, someday, some way, we are going to be together again. Hmm. It's an old song. Michael learns to rock. Someday, some way, together we will be, baby. <laughs> um, I'll take and you'll take your time or something like that. We'll wait for our fates. Uh, and I don't remember the rest of the lyrics, but that's a beautiful song. <laughs> I was in my early, or not early, 20s maybe, late teens, um, when that song came out. And it was really interesting. It's a good song. Michael Learns to Rock. That was the name of the group. But this is what it is. This person has this faith. They have this feeling that... They will one day be together again with you. And even if you were not together before, the feeling that they have is that you are not together just in this lifetime. You are together in another life as well. At this time, this person is also feeling very much upset and betrayed that the grass was not greener on the other side. You have here the Ten of Swords. By the time this person reached back, 
they are no longer the same person that they used to be. Things have changed. This person's personality has changed. Their intentions, everything has changed. And so they can no longer move forward because they don't want to. They can't. They feel that the world betrayed them. The grass was not greener on the other side. It was all artificial. And so now they come back. But we also have here the hanged man. This individual is waiting, thinking, contemplating. What reaction is going to happen? What reaction are you going to have when you're in this type of a situation? There is a waiting period here. We also feel, we also feel, this person also feels with the last card there, the Wheel of Fortune, and with the Star card, Destiny. Fate and destiny will one day bring the both of you together again. This person feels this. They actually believe this in their heart. It's actually their soul that believes this. But currently, on a physical level, an emotional level, this person is extremely heartbroken. And for some of you, it could be three. Three of Swords, third-party situation. Person's torn apart, doesn't know where to go, what to do. Some of you might resonate with some of the other videos that I have that are informational videos on my other channel, Asnoitia Audio. I have some videos on, well, one of them is on unemotionally available men or emotionally unavailable men. That's what I meant to say. Um, there is also one on how to, like, why um, certain men who are either divorcing, divorced, or separated, why do they behave the way that they do? Why aren't they committing to you? If they are in another party situation, what is happening? What is in their mind? Have a look at that for some of you that are kind of confused about those feelings. And recently I just uh, posted another one, which is about on and off, hot and cold, on and off um, kind of relationships. Um, they come and go in your life. Why are they doing that? Why aren't they committing? Some of you might resonate with that, but those type of energies, those type of feelings, I'm getting from these cards. That's why I'm mentioning that. Some of you may have been through certain situations that you'll find a bit similar in those other um, videos that I have on Asnoichi Audio. And of course, please do like, share, and subscribe to that channel. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to um, put up more content that'll be helpful in the future. So it is important to note here that the overall arching theme is sadness. It's regret, it's sorrow, it's pain disappointment and this person stays silent but they believe that one day the both of you are going to be together again are they taking any action do i see any action here leo no the only type of action i see is internal where they are trying to manifest this where they are trying to make plans and they're trying to think about this that is it but that has nothing to do with you that's all them that's what i see right now All right, let's have a look at what the angels have to say about this connection. So these messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. So we have here, yes, that's a really good card to have, very positive card to have. Then we have perfect timing. Yes, this will happen in divine timing, perfect timing. There will be, at that time, when you are not expecting, there will be a peaceful resolution. Oh my gosh. Just for some of you, I might need to um, I might need to see what I can do when it comes to past life readings. Currently, I'm not doing past life readings, but for some of you that might resonate with this reading, check it out maybe in a month or two. I might have the past life readings on. The reason I say that because of this card. This card is very much associated to the mystery card. You guys got both, and this is pretty intense. This does talk about definitely a very painful but beautiful um, connection that the both of you have. 
you are either twin flames, soulmates, or karmic partners. Okay. So we have here, yes, certain things are going to change, but it will happen at perfect timing. You won't know when it's right. For you, you might be ready right now, but this person is definitely not ready, as you could see how they're feeling. We also have here peaceful resolution. Perfect. That's really good. Whatever happened, you either might just end up as friends or you might end up as lovers. But there's going to be a peaceful resolution between the both of you, which will be good. It'll give you a sense of closure, a sense of stability. We also have here that there will be a peaceful resolution and there is that opportunity to be with the person who you have this romance for, right? You feel that this person is your person. And this person also realizes that there is a special spiritual connection and it is extremely intense. We also have here remain positive. For some of you, I recommend that you can have a look at the Holy Light package that I have on my website. That package is specifically to allow you to receive more positive energy by getting rid of negative energy that is blocking the positive energy from coming into your life. It's called the Holy Light Package. You can see it on my website, www.asnoitia.com. You can go to the Rates and Packages section and you will see the Holy Light Package there. Here we have also within the next few weeks. Okay, so we have a timeline here. This could also be within the next few months. You will be receiving an opportunity. The opportunity that you will be receiving, <clears throat> it may be related to romance. It could also be related to abundance and finances for some of you, not all of you. But whatever it is, just be happy that you got this card because it does mean that you're going to get some type of an opportunity. Ultimately, there's going to be big, happy changes. So there's going to be changes. They're going to be big. And you're going to be happy about it. Very nice. I like it. Um, it's a matter of patience. And I know many of you don't want to hear that anymore. But that's just the way this goes, right? It's not me. I'm not doing this. This is that person. <laughs> Blame the other person, not me. Um, the other person is taking their sweet time because they have to. Because they're not ready. You are emotionally, spiritually, maybe even physically, you might be ready. But unfortunately, at this time, this person is not. Ultimately, I see a beautiful reading here. There's going to be some great changes. They're going to be good. There's going to be peaceful resolution. You're going to get some opportunities. There's going to be romance. Stay away from toxic people. Stay away from people who are jealous. Try to keep your plans. Try to keep your ideas to yourself if you have any type of relationship ideas if you have any type of like ideas for businesses opportunities right businesses um just be careful you don't like tell too many people who you you may feel that um you know this is a great idea and then like two weeks later somebody else comes up with that idea and they're doing the same thing right so they stole your idea you have to be careful you can't be that naive sometimes we do share situations and things and we think people don't really care but they do People care. They have nothing else to do. They have no, nothing else better to do than hate us, right? You have to be very careful what you share and who you share it with. Because when they give you negative energies, they all they do is just think of something and there's a frequency that comes through. That frequency, these negative energies hop onto that frequency like it's a train. And they come riding toward us. And those hexes and those curses just verbally, are manifested and they come true. And then our lives go downhill. That's why it is important to get rid of negative energy. It is important to have a place in your home where you are feeling safe, where you have positive people, positive affirmations, because the more negative you are, the more negativity is going to come into your life and you will not be able to move forward. No matter what you do, there's always going to be some type of obstacle. 
and that obstacle is usually the negative energies. Yes, that's what happens. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to mention also that currently um, I, I am taking some love readings. So I am doing love readings right now. The one that I have available is a written report and the majority of it is basically me telling you um, what the person's feelings are, how they feel towards you. Another section of it talks about any concerns or any issues that are affecting the both of you so that you can be aware of that. The last part of the reading talks about certain hidden feelings and emotions. Now based on all of that, this is a self-assessment kind of reading that I've created for you. You can self-assess all of this then. That okay, I know what this person is feeling, what do I need to do next? Do I do this, this or this? I have a little questionnaire that I've created. You guys can follow through that. Sometimes it's applicable, sometimes it's not. But if you do that, you'll be able to find yourself in a better place. Um, it's important to think about the connection that you're in and how much time. And I know love is love. We can wait forever for the one we love. But are we really being practical, right? At some point in time, we have to be a bit more practical. That's why I also created that. So for some of you, if you're interested, you can go to my website and um, have a look at the, um, it's called, it's called, it's self-assessment, but it's also an express love reading. It is a written report. Just remember that. And just also, I just gonna put it out there. It's in USD, so it's um, United States um, currency, just in case people are asking. I'm gonna add that on the website. People are mentioning that. Um, but I just wanted to tell you to look at the description before you make a purchase. Because some of you may feel that, okay, it's applicable. Some of you might not feel that it is. The only reason I put the description there is so that you can read it. So read it before you place the order so you know what you're expecting. And the reason why I did this, I can get to more people. I can at least be there for people if they need help. Um, otherwise, the other ones right now, they are still out of stock because I was like overly booked and it was just not my life was a mess. <laughs> Too much happening all at once. So this way, I'll be able to at least give you your answers, let you know what the person's feeling, and you can make your decision based on all of that. Leo, that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situation. I do know that this person has gone through a lot, they are going through a lot, and unfortunately, they have put you through a lot too because these type of relationships have a mirroring effect. You are mirroring the other person. You are literally going through the same stuff that that person is going through. And eventually, things will be better. I'm getting the word union right now. Union and reunion and reunite. So there's going to be something good happening. All right then, you take care, stay safe, and thank you so much for tuning in. Bye now.